A contemporary of the Post-Impressionists, Henri Le Sidonaire's approach to painting was wholeheartedly unique. The first generation of Impressionist painters, Monet, Sisley, Pizarro and Manet, were highly influential to Le Sidonaire, whose formative years occurred amidst the height of the Impressionist movement. Le Sidonaire's work parallels that of Monet in terms of style, as well as choice of motif. Both artists would redo the same subject matter in all seasons and at different times of day or weather in order to isolate the variations of light. Le Sidonaire, like Monet before him, perfected the technique of using short, fragmented brushstrokes and intensified colours, which was particularly suited to their desire to capture the nuances of natural light. The environment and the colours of the south of France in particular captivated Le Sidonaire, and every year throughout the 1920s, he would stay in a small medieval town of Villefranche-sur-Mer, situated at the heart of the Côte d'Azur, just between Monaco, Nice and Cannes. Villefranche-sur-Mer enthralled the artist since his first visit there in 1910. Between 1924 and 1928, Le lived periodically at the Hotel Welcome, situated in the centre of the old port, overlooking the harbour, and it is still there to this day. It is here, in 1927, that Le Sidonaire would create this painting and an exquisite series of images, recording the calm and loveliness of this quiet coastal town that so bewitched him. The son of a sea captain, he was drawn to, in particular to the play of light on water, which he has captured with superb brushstroke and a masterful use of tone. Here he has used blues, soft ochres and opals to make the surface of his paintings shimmer and blur. De Sidner said no landscape was worth painting unless it was enhanced by some play of light. It is his glowing depictions of sunrise and sunset that so resonate with collectors of his work. In his late works, human figures rarely appear in Le Sidonaire's compositions. However, the fishermen seated in the boat in the foreground of this work animate the quiet tranquility of the dawn. The sense of understated mystery and gentle poetry evident in this work reveals Le Sidonaire's artistic inheritance from his symbolist-inspired early years, while the brighter and more intense palette subtly co contrasts the dappled application of pigment and its debt is owed to Impressionism. This work has been in a private collection in the Channel Islands for many decades. The work is illustrated in the Catalogue Raisonné and was selected for exhibition in Paris at the Galerie Georges Petit in 1927 and at the retrospective of his work held at the Musée Galliere, Paris, in April 1948. Le Matin, Villefranche-sur-Mer, is striking for its glistening and jewel-like palette but above all, for being exemplary of the artist's much fettered ability to capture the intangible and mystical atmosphere of a particular moment in time. I very much hope you enjoy the painting.